All right, it's 95.5 KLOS. If you are watching at 95.5 KLOS.com, uh, I'm Bono, and uh, this is Foreigner. <laughs> uh, Mick, Kelly, and Jeff from Foreigner are here. Uh, of course, you guys play at uh, Saban Theater, the KLOS Cold as Ice concert, tomorrow night uh, in Beverly Hills. Uh, we are thrilled uh, to have you and thrilled that you guys uh, could join us today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. So, uh, you know, I mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, I, I, I came in a little hungover today. I've been I've been going out last you know I went out last night and I've been going out for twenty something years and I haven't figured out uh, you know maybe you shouldn't mix beer and wine and whiskey and change the order around all night hmm. and it kind of made me wonder I uh, think after a, all this time you'd learn something you'd think yeah. right um, it kind of made me wonder like you guys have been touring for thirty seven years just in this band right so like ha- have you gotten are are you just I experts have, at the process I have a surefire cure. For hangovers. Okay. Oh, I'd like to hear this actually. Don't drink. Oh. <laughs> that was not where I was hoping you were going with that. <laughs> but you know what? It works like a charm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, Black tar 20, heroin from here on out. After 27 years, you know, kind of had had a fair shake, you know. Yeah. And um, I think for anybody, you know, it's it's very hard to do things in in moderation. You know, it's like you start <laughs> out the first few days, but. <laughs> then you get to the end of the week and you think, oh, I, I need, uh, I can do, I can have a really wild weekend now. You know? Right. And then you have the wild weekend and then it's Monday and Tuesday and, you know, it's just, com- it's a continuing circle. So but, uh, my, my weekends were about five days long. I don't know about <laughs> When you start getting the blackouts, then you should. Uh, right, right. Do you know what the blackout is? Oh, I know what the blackout is. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't quite gotten there yet, thank God, but. Do you, like, is there a, an ideal sort of balance uh, so that you're ready to, you know, play shows but still having a good time out on the road? I think for everybody it's different. You have to, you know, man's got to know his limitations. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, that's really key. You have to be in touch with yourself. And, and uh, I like I to touch myself. I don't yeah. necessarily mean physically, but <laughs> for everybody it's different. And um, it's very serious business. And... Um, if, if I think that if you want to be doing a great job at what you do and you want to continue doing what you want to do, you better make damn sure you know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it sounds like you guys don't have a lot of problems with that, but is there, is there a situation where you, you know, one of you has to keep another guy in check or say, hey, maybe, hey, you know, this is not productive for... Not with this version of the band. <laughs> we've been, <laughs> no, we've been very not. good. Yes. Well, all right. Well, good behavior. And you know what? I think, favor that. I think for us, too, the thrill is actually the music. And I think we've all re-fallen in love with music, and we've all been around the block with sex No, no, my, th- my thrill is hanging out with you. Well, other than <laughs> that. That's, that's what it really is. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, if, if music's the number one priority, that's, you know, you're going to treat it right. All right. Well, let's hear some music. You guys, you guys want to play something for us? Sure. We'll do something uh, for do the first time today. Do a little unplugged all right. version one, of this two, song. One, two, three, four. Sail across the stormy sea If that's what it takes me, baby To show how much you mean to me Well, I guess it's just the woman in you That brings out the man in me I know I can't help myself You're all in the world Together we'll make history
It feels like the first time Like it never did before It feels like the first time Like we've opened up the door It feels like the first time Like it never will again I got a clap. I'm the only guy in here, so I'll just I'll do the clapping. Thank you. Um, Thank you. No, you're not. Well, okay, you're right. I'm not really the only guy. About in here. five other people. In there. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Not, you're right. I can't, people are under tables and stuff. I, and what are they doing? And why aren't you guys clapping? Come on. Uh, that's foreigner. And uh, wow, that was. Uh, I'm really glad that just happened right in front of me. That was that was amazing. Um, we're gonna see these guys tomorrow night. Uh, Cold as ice concert at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills. Uh, you can get tickets uh, at nine five five. KLOS.com. It's perfect that you guys picked that song to play. It kind of segues right into to one of the things I wanted to ask you about. Um, you know, that's a song obviously about, you, you know, doing something that you've done, but it feels so exciting and new and like, you know, like it's the first time. It, is that similar to the way you, that you approach playing some of these songs that, you, you know, you guys have been playing forever? Like, how do you balance sort of bringing a fresh energy into songs while still giving people the show they're expecting? You just think of having sex, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <That's basically. laughs> like, wow. But um, no, it is. It's like the first time for anything, you know. It's like, uh, and if if that reminds you of the first time, that's uh, pretty good. Yeah. And yeah. for you, you know, with your hangover, you probably don't remember anything anyway. So everything is feeling like the everything first time. feels <laughs> like the first time to me. You know, for us, uh, for me, uh, it, it's uh, it's it's really a challenge every night to try to sing the songs. Uh, correctly and do them the way I want them to come out and then we get asked a lot you know after playing for so many years how do you keep it fresh and how does it make it f feel like the first time and I think every night the crowd is different the, the place is different it's outdoors it's indoors it's large crowd small crowd and it it makes it different for us every night and, and uh, sometimes we're really hot on a particular song one night and then another night it might be a different song so it, there's never any of that sameness. It's always yeah. a challenge. It's always a new and different kind of thing. And, and you can find something new and fresh every night to get you excited. Plus That's how it works are, for me. We are so spoiled. We have the best set list in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do. We've got just this incredible body of songs to pick from. And, you know, it's impossible to get stale. Yeah, I, I can see that. It's, yeah. it's, it's um, you know, when I first started writing songs for the band, um, that was the first song I wrote, literally. So... <laughs> It was a diff you know it was a whole new period of my life starting. I didn't know it was gonna how prophetic you know yeah. explode <laughs> into what it did, but uh, you know it's always special to me because well, as corny as it may sound, you know that really was it takes you the right first back to time, the beginning, yeah. You know that things started really moving for me. I uh, you know I, I've been doing this for a while, twenty years. I've never done a perfect show. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. always like oh god, if I just said one just one thing or oh why did I step on that song or you know. Do you feel like you guys have ever just played a show and you're like, that's it, I couldn't, I couldn't have nailed it any better, or is there sort of this perfect ideal that you're, you're always kind of trying to achieve somehow? Well, it's both extremes, I think. You know, mm -hmm. you can either nail it and like, wow, you know, that everybody comes off in agreement as to what the songs were sounding great, you know, and then personally, you can goof up, <coughs> um, you know, and then uh, you know you feel dreadful when you come off and you tell <laughs> your 
you know, bandmates, and they say, but it sounded great. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck do they yeah. know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, you know listening what I'm to. feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it, is up, it is up to interpretation, but I, I've, learned, I've learned that you kind of have to, you just have to accept the fact that it's never going to be every single thing you wanted. And if it's almost there, you've got to be happy with that. There you go. Tomorrow night, Saban Theater, almost there from Foreigner. You'll <laughs> Enjoy that. No, plenty of magic. Lots of <laughs> plenty magic. Of magic. <laughs> and Mick will be thinking about making love to all of you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think he said having sex. I'm not sure, but. Oh, you're right. You're right. He did. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't want to put words in your mouth. All right. Uh, do you guys want to do another tune for us? Sure. 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 Thanks. Oh, go back see. to the second album. Little, speaking of hangover, a little bit of double vision. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> From one to another extreme Time I had a good time Ain't got time to wait I wanna stick around Till I can't see you straight Fill my eyes With that double vision Always new to me My double vision gets the best of me Yeah Never do more than I, I really need My mind is racing but my body's in the lead Tonight, the night I'm gonna push it to Hear your floor, people. Hey. All right, thank foreign. You, thank you. And there's some in the hall now. The hall, uh, people. Let me in, you in the hall in the back. Good. Uh, it's at 95.5 KLOS. Uh, Mick, uh, Kelly, Jeff from Foreigner are here. And uh, if you missed a little part of that, you want to relive it later. It's all happening at uh, 95.5 KLOS.com. It's also where you can get tickets to uh, tomorrow night show. Um, we made it to Beverly Hills. I can't believe yeah. it. It's the first. It feels like the first time. There you go. <laughs> Swimming pools and yeah. palm trees, the whole deal. Um, and sex with the whole audience. That's right. And sex with the whole <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to California, everybody. Yeah. There's no government anymore. Yeah, Just do, right. do what you want. Have Who fun. Um, you know, I read that the name Foreigner kind of came from this idea of, you know, you, you 
your membership split between a couple different countries. You're kind of foreigners everywhere. But I, I sort of think it's had the opposite effect. Like you, it seems like you fit right in with American rock bands. You fit right in with British rock bands. You, you know, you've sold a ton of records worldwide. Well, we're gonna have to change the name then. Yeah, no. <laughs> to at homers or something. <laughs> Uh, adapters, oh, that's a good one. Where, where is the strangest place you've heard foreigner music, like around the world? Wow, um, I guess you know, on in a car on in, on, on the streets of uh, New Delhi or somewhere like that in <laughs> in India. You know, um, I was down in the Caribbean uh, on an island, and I was just driving along on a Sunday morning, and I saw this crowd in front of a church. Um, and it was a Sunday morning uh, service, you know, and in a gospel church. And I stopped the car and I just listened for a minute. And they suddenly they broke into "I Want to Know What Love Is." Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> and it was like <laughs> it was just an unbelievable feeling. You know? And they didn't see you. Yeah, no, wow. they didn't. Wow. They didn't know. Were you tempted to walk in and be like, uh, "Hey guys, <laughs> hey, that's me." That's <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would have been a miracle. <laughs> Miracle would have been awesome. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. Uh, 40th anniversary coming up soon. Are you guys, I mean, it's a couple years, but it's soon enough. Are you thinking about plans? Do you have uh, you have ideas for for something you might do? Anything no, you can not reveal anything to us? Con- not anything concrete quite yet, but uh, we need to do something definitely. To if you'd have told me that I'd be celebrating a 40th anniversary of this band when I put it together in the first, I'd have never, you know. What? Yeah. I'd have gotten a real job. <laughs> Should have gotten a real job by now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my parents tell me that every day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they still do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm doing this. It's a th- yeah. I, They pay me and everything. Um, guys, thank you so much. Like, 40 years, it's an amazing accomplishment, and we're uh, excited uh, that you're going to spend uh, at least a couple of minutes of that uh, with us uh, tomorrow night. Saban Theater, nine five five KLOS dot com for tickets. Uh, Foreigner, thank you guys so much uh, for joining us today. This is uh, you got it. Really thank cool. You. Thanks for having us here. All right, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank KLOS, man. I mean, you guys have been so supportive for so long. Well, right. you know, you guys make it easy. Thanks, thanks for the great tunes, and uh, I'm looking forward to hanging out tomorrow night. Right on. <laughs> I won't wear the sunglasses. I promise. <laughs> yeah, don't show yeah, try up to remember long. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're gonna be like, you guys are gonna be like, hey, I'll be like. And you are. Uh, uh, uh. All right, uh, we'll be back in a minute. Thanks.